Okay, in this video I want to create two functions. The first one is a random position generator based on a game object and then we give it an area to randomize the position. The second one is a random texture generator. So we're going to give it a bunch of textures and it's going to return any one of those textures. So let's do this one first, the random position and we're going to return a vector 3 we're going to call it random pause equals new vector 3 and we're going to do all our calculations in this thing in this block of code here in the new vector 3 and then we're going to return it okay so this is really easy to do guys um, we get our game objects position game objects transform position and dot x this one and then we give it a random range which calculates a random range between two two values so let's give it the minus value of this and then the positive and it's simple as that so getting the game objects x position and then we're plus we're plusing a value adding a value sorry um, a random value between the minus and positive of this and then all we have to do is the same thing in the y and the z y z and we're done basically guys simple as that use this function for whatever you want to work out a random position based on an object position basically a game object so that returns a random position that's the second function the texture generator this works in a bit of a different way I'm just going to create a, an array to start with and if you want to create an array just put a, the square brackets here in front of the um, data type textures, let's call it textures and give it the values within the curly braces that's how the array works so scrolling up here I've got four gun textures the fourth one is a pixel, a transparent pixel and I'm just going to put these these um, objects in the array one, two, three and four so now we've created the array we want to get a random value from the array by the way guys if you want you can create an array anywhere put it in the function and use that anyway we're going to put get a random position or a random index sorry which is an integer so we want it to be between 0 and 3 because because it's an array uh, the index starts at 0 but because this is an integer we cannot return 0 for this value so we're going to start with 1 to start with so random range 1 to f 2 1 2 3 4 1 to 4 but this will flag an error because there isn't a fourth index so we just do rand minus minus simple as that so now this will be between 0 to 3 which is what we want last thing to do is just return it so we're going to return a random index of the array which will give one of these textures but at the moment there's an equal chance each of these textures will be displayed but I don't want that because I want there to be no textures more than there is textures if that makes sense so I want this transparent pixel to be displayed more times than the actual textures themselves so I'm just going to put it in three more times guys so one two three and that's the simp that's the simplest way you can do this. So and change this to to eight. Now I'll get a value between zero and seven. And uh, what happened there? Put that in again. So that's it, guys. Um, that's the function to get a random texture. We've given it an array using our texture values here, and we've also got a function for the random position. So in the next video, I'll code out this functionality for our gun flashes. Thanks for watching.